Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 9 under Computer Networks playlist dealing with Aloha. Please do subscribe, like, comment, and share. Come, let's go into the video. So, random access protocol. How this has come? In data link layer, we have seen that there are two sub-layers, right? One is data link control and another one is MAC, media access control. So for this media access control, there is some protocol that has been specified for the transmission of frames from one end to the other end. So this random access protocol has some examples or the process that has been followed to carry out this protocol successfully. So, random access control is nothing but from the name itself you can understand that the data or frames that is formed in the data link layer are transmitted at random. That is, if a data is sent from the sender to the receiver, it is not sure, 100% sure that the data is transmitted at regular interval of time. As and, when required, as and when required, it randomly chooses the frames that is generated in the sender side. So, because of randomly acquiring the data, there are high chances of colliding. There are high chances of collision of frames or data that is generated. So, you should have some protocol to detect how the collision is taking place and you have to obviously recover those colloided uh, uh, data of frames. You have to give some uh, protocols to be followed so that there is no collision. Yes. So, when you follow all these, you can see all these examples. Aloha, CSMA, CSMA CD, CSMA CA. So, these are the types of uh, procedures that has been followed to maintain this random access MAC protocol. So we will see in this video you will be seeing in detail about what is aloha. There are two kinds of aloha. One is pure aloha and second one is slaughtered aloha. So under this pure aloha, C take station 1, station 2, station 3 and station 4. Take all these stations as a sender side. And obviously here you will have a receiver side. Now, as the name random access, it is said that when a frame is generated from station 1, it is subsequently generating different frames at a different station. See, under station 1, there is a frame called 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Under station 2, 2.1, 2.2. Station 3, 3.1, 3.2. And station 4, 4.1. So, these are the frames that is fr framed. Now, this sender from the station, it is sending all these frames. Now, you check, there is a frame formed here. Now, you check here, there is no frames are formed. Now, when you check here, these two frames are formed equally here. The transmission medium for these all station is common actually. So, when these frames are generated at the same time, it colloids each other. So, these two frames will be lost. It will not be sent to the receiver end. And here half of the frame, half of the frame will be lost. Here no frames are generated. But here there is a generation of frames. So, these two will be lost. And this frame there is no generation. So, it will not collide. So, finally only this frame and this frame is given to the receiver. And all other frames are colloided and it is lost during the transmission. So, in pure aloha, it is clear that the collision probability is very high. Here, the node transmit without waiting. That it will not wait for the receiver to ask, request the frame. As soon as the frame is found only, it will start transmitting the frames to the receiver end. So, in pure aloha, when the probability of collision is at the higher side, you have to see what, uh, uh, what are the procedures that are followed to send this frame from one end to the another. So, this is the procedure. See, here now your frame is formed. It is ready. 
k is equal to 0 is nothing but k is number of atoms, how many atoms, how many frames is being sent. So that from the uh, sender end to the receiver end, the frames are transmitted successfully. Now, the first frame you will be taking it as 0. When there are 8 frames, you will be telling there are frames formed from 0 to 7. So k is 0 here. So this is the first frame that is ready to transmit. Now you are sending the frame. Obviously, there will be a weight check that is happening. That is 2 into Tp. Tp is nothing but maximum propagation time. So if you send one frame, what is the maximum propagation time that particular frame is taking? So twice the transmission the, uh, tr uh, time taken for propagation time, it will wait. It will wait. Once after wait, it, it receives the frame. Then the condition is becoming true and it is telling that acknowledgement is received and it is successfully transmitted to the receiver side. But if suppose, if it is, if there is no frames, after wait time also, if there is no frames received, then it is going for the another check. It is understood that that frame is lost because of collision and it is going for another number of attempt. So k is equal to k plus 1. That is here it is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So it is taking the next frame. Now this next frame again it is transmitted. Before transmitting it is checking for one particular thing that is k is greater than k max. So obviously here you can consider that the maximum value of k that is maximum number of atoms that you can make is only 15. So till then this will continue. If it reaches 15 then you cannot even send even one frame to the receiver end. So if this is okay then it will abort. If it is not okay, if it is false then it is choosing R. So, R is nothing but a random number that is generated. So, 2 to the power of k minus 1. That is 2 to the power of k is 2 to the power of some random number minus 1. So, now it is waiting for the Tb. Tb is back of time. Back of time is nothing but if there is any collision and your receiver is waiting for the acknowledgement your receiver's receiver is sending a negative acknowledgement so the wait that is produced between the sender and the receiver that is called as the back of time so that wait is done and it is sent to the send off frame now after all these the frame is sent hope you understood so now with this uh, flow you can tell that the vulnerable time of pure aloha is 2 into t of fr that is vulnerable time is nothing but the length of the time a frame is taking for colliding each other so that is 2 into t fr is time to time taken for producing a frame so twice the time taken for producing the frame so, now next you can see how slotted aloha is behaving. Slotted aloha. So, here you see before transmitting the frames only, there are different slots framed in the transmission medium. So, now in slot 1, there is only one frame. Slot 2, there are two frames. So, now these two will be colloided. Slot 3 also, these two will be colloided. Slot 4, this will remain transmitting. Slot 5, this will remain transmitting. Slot 6, this will remain transmitting. So, one thing you can observe is, from station 1, at least one frame is transmitting. Station 2, one frame is transmitting. Station 3, one frame is transmitting. Station 4, one frame is transmitting. So, even though there is collision, it is ensuring that a at least one frame is transmitting to the receiver end. So, when compared to pure aloha, the vulnerable time, the time for colloiding each other is TFR. That is maybe once it will collide. It is not 2 into TFR. So, here only you can tell that between pure and slotted aloha, the slotted aloha is best because the collision rate is little best, bit lesser. Correct? This is the best example I can 
show you between the slotted aloha and pure aloha hope you have understood how these protocols are behaving and how the frames are transmitted from one end to the another end for more info stay tuned thank you